My first memory of not being seen was when I was a child. Um, and I was in grade school and I went to a school across town to go to a good school. And I had to take two city buses to get home. And I was sitting at the bus stop and there was an all white high school around the corner. And all of a sudden I heard a car turn the corner and three white high school boys were in the car. It was a convertible. They saw me sitting at the bus stop. They called me the N word and they spit on me. And I remember first just being shocked and then grabbing a tissue and stuffing the tissue in my sock so that I didn't have to feel that wetness, that wet spit on my skin. And I remember having just this sick feeling in my stomach and the realization that that happened simply because I was a black little girl sitting at the bus stop and two, because they could and they knew they could get away with it. I haven't been spit on since I've been an adult, but I've been in several situations, many situations personally and professionally, where I have felt like I have been spit on. I have felt the spit coming toward me and I've wanted to shield myself, to put something between myself and the spit. But, you know, most of us in the professional world, we learn to navigate that. We learn to navigate those situations because it is the world we live in. It is the water we swim in. And if we are lucky, if we have good enough mental health and physical health, that those are not impediments to progress, or if we can afford therapy and good health care, and we have support systems, then we're able to navigate these situations and to be successful but it is about navigating them because it's not that the situations are going away. So um, there are days that I get really despondent over this and there are days that I am very hopeful and I choose to live in the hope. I choose to live in the hope that we as a country and as a people will one day stop seeing people as other and regard everyone with the same equality.